Oh. Maybe even get towards the top eight, which I think would be progress. All right, guys, welcome back to match day number 14. Not match day number 14, match day number 40, match day vlog number 14. Today we are heading down to Reading to um, obviously get, just something like camera says, to obviously go on that promotion push that no other Stoke fan thinks we're going to have. I think we're still there. 10 points off, a um, few games around us where we could end in draws, meaning that we'll get a lot closer to there. Um, so hopefully tonight we can be eight points off those playoff places. I'm joined by Ryan yet again, so we're going to head down. Coach is leaving about an hour or so. It's about two and a half hour trip down there. We'll get down there for around about half six, I believe. Kick off at quarter to eight. So <laughs> I'm just going to get food. Ooh, look. Um, we just sat outside. We've got about, uh, hang on. What time is it now? We've got 40 minutes till the coach departs. And it should be an all right game, I think. I'm going to predict at least one goal for us. I'm not going to be too hopeful because the last few games I've been there, we've not done particularly well we can't really hold a lead so i'm going to say one nil for now and see how it goes <laughs> Unchanged Bake comes back in for Brancic who goes onto the bench. He's kept the same bench and he's kept the same team pretty much. Um, Lewis Baker obviously coming to play against his former team in Reading. Um, 19 games, one goal for Reading. How many has he done for us? Uh, 14 games. 14 games. Seven goals. Seven. Which is insane to think about. He's doing better than the strikers. At this rate he's going to have to take Brown and um, hopefully is back to his best. Obviously I had a game off for the knock yard. But um, yeah, it's a pretty nice stadium like I said. Um, have Reading to put their team out as well mate. Yes they have. Let's have a look at this. Toilet or do you want to reset? Toilet comes back in replacing for Tom Ince. Okay. Uh, they are having Nyland, Yardam, McIntyre, Morris, Holmes, Lauren, Drinkwater. So Daddy Drinkwater's playing. Yeah. Toilet, Ijaria, Swift, Joao. Joao. Yeah. So, um, with that team, mate, John Swift, we're, we're, he would be a player we'd love to have. Yep. Dan Drinkwater, like we said, one of your favourite players. At least oh, you get yeah. to see them. Sadly, they're on the opposition, so if he scores, don't celebrate too much. I'll try Josh best. Lawrence, an absolute baller. Orion Nyland, I believe, is on loan from Aston Villa, Norwegian international. That Yaya Dom is actually good um, right back. That McIntyre streams on Twitch. Um, Junior Hoylet, obviously replacing Tom Ince. Tom Ince can't play tonight. Um, but Junior Hoylet used to be Premier League players. Absolutely baller. Who is on the bench? Southwood, Tom Dan, Rashman, Barker, Delhi Bashiru and Aziz. Delhi Bashiru and Eze. Oh, Aziz. So now, um, a 
the normal target man, I believe, probably has an injury. He's not in the team. But, um, that, was it Deli Bashiru? Yes. Um, is an alright player, I've heard of him. So, um, it's decent. I believe that we will win. No, I'm not doing the American John. I think it's going to be a close one. Um, but I think we'll have the domination and we're going to go for a 2 1 win to Stoke. Baker's going to score. And um, Madge is going to come good, like I've said. So, it's going to happen. Um, if they do score, it will be from Lucas Zhao or a Hoylet goal. But um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty decent. Or drink more, too much. Nah, he hasn't scored, I believe, all season. <laughs> what we needed. We've only got Soyuz and Brancic on the bench. I don't know, oh, mate, you want I don't really know who you bring on out of those two. I don't know who you bring on out of those two. 
We're both very similar players. So um, we'll probably find out. Sawyer's. Yeah, probably so, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the amount of bacon I've got on there, mate. The cheese looks good in the tomato ketchup. Let's give this a go. Better get in your gob. How's it taste? Don't know why I'm not doing food in there. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. That's the best burger so far this season. And they do fucking lemon fanta. What's your rating? 4.7. Ooh. What, out of 5? Out of 5, mate. Good man. Let's get into it. Please, please, please. What the fuck? 
That's it, that's over here. Yeah.
back home, as you can probably tell from our faces, we are knackered. Knackered, it is two in the morning. Um, I love Stoke Away games, I do, but it's just no, how long Training. the games are. But um, yeah, 12 hours later, we're back, and um, <laughs> the, I don't really appreciate time, this, no. but um, yeah. Obviously, we started off slow. They scored. We sort of picked up a game. Um, so does that come on, like we said. And we really did pick up a game um, tonight. But I don't know. We made a lot of mistakes. A lot of passes were, you know, very, mi very just poor. mispassed and misplaced. Um, but their but yeah, defense was fucking incredible. Though. Their, their defense tonight was good. Um, Brown should have made it. Obviously, should have made it too. But overshot about three times. Yeah, right? their first goal was actually an own goal. Not an own goal, should have been handball. So technically we should have won that 2-1. With the amount of chances they had as well, it could have been easily five or six for them. And I don't know, after seeing how we played against Millwall and obviously Sheffield United, expect the men momentum to be on our side. But um, yeah, that's six points in the last three games now. And, you know, we're, we're, I've just got to come to terms that how, that's how it is as a Stoke fan you know nothing's really gonna go the way that we want and yeah obviously we've got West Brom on Saturday it's 50-50 whether I'm going that one I won't be joined by him so I won't be there for the next one yeah just. West Brom won't be as draining but we move we go from there I'm gonna get some sleep he's gonna get some sleep and 38 hours yeah just gonna pass just out gonna, Pretty much.